Hello, everybody. 534. We had a lot of technical issues. Very glad that we actually got this one off. We're getting this one off when we can. Um, This is the... Oh, usually I don't have the random pulled up right away. The 2023-24 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey Hobby 12-box case, 12-spot random box break, numero dos. That's number two. One sec. That as well. Um, so... First thing I'm going to get out of the way, guys. I'm by myself. These are really, really long boxes. So what we do is called a super break. So what we're going to do is I'll get the box. So say it's box one for person. I'll open it. But then what I'll do is I'll open all the pa – well, I'll open four packs at a time is what I do. And then I go through them. But I don't skip the – I skip the base because the base is the base. And it helps us get through the break quicker. But – Anyways, anyways, but yeah, so I will never miss an, anything like numbered. They're so obvious. Any young guns, obviously. Huh? What is happening over there? Anyways, here we go. Here's our random. We're going to random our box numbers first. I got the case right behind me. That's where it's going to stay the whole night or the whole break, not the whole night. Six for the first time. The info. And then I was not here when it went out. Did it go out? Oh boy. Because of the weather? Hmm. Here's our lovely, lovely people. Thank you all so much for getting in on this one. As I say every time, well, let's make sure. There we go. Love seeing new names. But I also love seeing those returners. Love the support. Five times here. Best of luck, y'all. One, two, three, four. That's five right there. Hunter F. Is that Hunter from Fanatics? Oh, wait. That guy's actually an AI. And Sweet Tea Repack. Every box. Number 11, Jill P. Number 12, you'll end us off. Hunter F. Hunter F also has number 10, number 2, and number 7. Craig Y, you have 3. Jason K, you have 8. Angelo P, you have 9. Eric O, you have 6. Hunter F, you're starting us off as well, number 1. Eric O with 5. And Hunter F, you have number 4. So Hunter F has about half the case. Take a look. Just paying attention to these bad boys. All right. Debating where to put. I'll put sleeves here. Share low key. Can be brought up a little bit. And that's what we'll do. What is going on here? Something new every day, y'all. All right. On breaker. So I don't even need the keyboard anymore. So I can just put the keyboard over there. I honestly probably won't even need the mouse either. So how it's going to work is we'll start off with box one. So box one. This is for Hunter F. But first, obviously, we gotta break into the case. What's silly Strollo thinking? Ah, yes. Good old series two. Actually, I'll go. So, they're like this, you see. One, two, three. Left to right. One, two, three. Box one. <clears throat> and they'll stay here. Fold the flaps. For full transparency. Maybe we're going to angle it a little bit. There we go. You guys can see, not being touched. They're just there, having a good old time waiting to be opened. So, enough with the examples, enough with the talk. We're starting with number one, Hunter F. Best of luck, my brother. Oh, fair, fair, fair. My music will get us a very nice copyright. 
A very nice Kappa Red Strike. A very nice No More Can Stream for a little bit. I have been on the receiving end of those, and they are not fun. Alright, so this is what I mean by Super Break. I'm not opening every pack at once, but you just do a little flippy doodle here, because upper deck packs open better on the bottom. And then we just go, just like a hockey game, in three periods. The first is four packs. The second is four packs. The third, you'll never guess, also four packs. Box one, period one. Best of luck. Yuknevich. Bennington. Young gun here. Pythia. Not too shabby. Base, base, base. Kirill Canvas. Luke Hughes. Not too shabby. Svozel, could have saw that one coming from a mile away. Sorelli, not bad. Another young gun coming up here. Nice connecting. Saber Benson, gotta be. Zach Benson, very nice. And a little canvas young gun here of Tristan Robbins. Have not seen this canvas yet, so that's a good sign. Maybe we got some different stuff in this case. Um, And yes, as a breaker, believe it or not. I have done a lot of this product. Believe it or not, again, really not sick of it at all, and I really hope it keeps coming at me. Because it's a dang fun product to open. Hold up. I want to make sure I have my young guns right. Give me two seconds. Two seconds. I think 80 texted me the list. Nope, that's, I just typed my own name into the search bar. Okay, it is exactly as I thunked it. All right, so first little grouping of packs. Pretty solid. Pretty good stuff we're seeing so far. Skinner. Stort, that is. Horvat. Base, 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 base. Deslaurier. Kanakne. Brandon Saad. <laughs> Gritty. Seeing the young gun here. Let's see what team. Lightning. Tompkins. Not bad. A little canvas checklist. Dees. How are we doing, my friend? V gets Saucy Stro, Saucy Stro Baka. I just realized I don't even know where I'm going to put, like, I'm going to have to, like, run the completed boxes out to. Hmm, interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh, roots. They're good. That's as good, my friend. Opie. Ridley Grieg's actually having a pretty decent season. Dazzler, Sorokin. Damian Hunt, teammate Brock Faber, making a very strong case to be Rookie of the Year. I wonder, is he going to be in, um, I'm back, not bad. Is he going to be an extended? He must be an extended. Deluxe? Jack Quinn, the 250. Very nice. To 250, Jack Quinn. And a Teasdale. All right, not a bad start. A little bit, no, a little bit. Admittedly so. Nice, Tease, congrats, dude. 
Hope you have fun. That, that sounds like such a good time. What's up, Yahtzee? I hit a Jackson Flawless. Ooh, okay. Coast on that thing, my boy. That's a beaut. Alright, that's box number one. Alright, I think I can come up with a better. Yeah, I'll put all these down here. Screw it. These are literally just like... To hold... To hold the cards. One sec. Okay, we don't want to do that. was the Allen I wanted. This is number two. This is for Hunter F. Best of luck. But yeah, I, I'm gonna try. Probably won't be able to. I have a lot of stuff going on with my family in the summer. And I'm gonna be doing a lot with them, so I don't know. Maybe I'll work on convincing them. You expect what? But you've lost the final these. Damn. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, but at least you're not like the Bills losing the final four years in a row. It's been brought up a lot recently on this stream. I'm just gonna beat the people to it. There you go, Storm. Second deck, very nice. Alright, hold up. Stack. What box number did Jason K get? Jason K, you have box number eight. So you've got some time. Alright. Carlson. Matt Murray. Base, 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 base. Kairu. He had a couple the other night. No problem. Flyer. Andra Camille Andre. Sounds good, Dive. Um depending on Yes, this is the only group break at all tonight. Depending on time diver, and if someone could chat this, that would be very appreciated. Um, we might have to split up your cases. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to cross that bridge when we cross it, but hopefully we don't have to, but I'm just putting that on the radar for you. Um, I was talking to Steve and I'm hoping I can get through both of those, but I do, this is the time of year where I, I can't stay like a minute past 1030. Can you just tell Diver that depending on time... Ooh, nice egress. Another one I haven't seen. Luke Hughes. Ooh. Ty Cartier. Very nice. That's a nice young gun. Ooh, Kirishev. Not too bad. Base, base, base. Larkin. Lavoie. I don't know how many times I've seen this. I've opened so much of this product, and like I'm low key some of these dudes I've not seen. Nah, I'm disgusting. Um, just tell Diver that I will do my absolute best to get to both of her cases. But I talk with Steve, and we might have to have her split them up, but not too sure yet. Like, do one today, do one tomorrow, type of thing. Cause like I'm looking, I don't know. I just look at my queue. I'm like that. That's gonna take a lot, and I'm solo. Oh, I'm like, you're good. Not spring break. Hopefully, 
The only thing is that... Oh, no, I got this one under control. Hmm? I got this one under control. What's up, Beeves? If we do have... If we want to do half open, half sealed on the cases, that's fine. Okay. Right. Well, whatever works. She's also she's on mute. Oh, okay. It's okay. Ooh, ooh. Cole Gutman, though. They really just, you know. Gotta be they numbered. Gut, they, oh, the 150, very they, nice. They, they gut punched us with the, the black. They, I get gut punched so much. Doer, enough, enough, Noah, don't, don't even start. Oh, 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 I think we got one here. No, no, god damn it, Kevin Korchinski, dude. Hey, nice Yuri Patera, though, on the canvas. Yep, back to back, same box. Oh, negative canvas, though. Oh, and a chew skin, not bad. Brock Faber. Listen, I feel bad for Kevin Korchinski because, like, he's actually not that bad. I watched him play the other night. I mean,. I, was that the game where I don't know no that was abs I did watch him play the other night but I can't remember if it was the game where Nate Mac had a four point night including a hat trick or I can't I legit can't remember okay number three this one is going to Craig Y best of luck Craig Y Storm's being a silly goose Alright, let's see if the first the first three boxes can we get even just a portrait or a can not a canvas. A portrait or a um gosh, what's the other one, dude? Uh checklist. Checklist. What's up, brother? What's up, Crip? How we doing? Ooh, Kadri on the clearing. J Rob. Base, base, base. No, 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 no. Ugh. Don't fall. It's the first time it's ever fallen. Ty Emerson, though. Nice little Taylor Radish, not too bad. Acetate Bedard, I'm with it. I'm with it. I've hit one before. No reason I can't again. Just looking for those numbered bad guy. Kind of your heart, bad guy. Bedard 101. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. It's in David Adams. Confirmed. <laughs> it's in this case. Uh, Dave, has that bounty hit yet? I don't think so, first light. But oh, please be Leo Carlson. Nice. Okay, Leo Carlson. Very nice. Tanner Janel, hiding it somewhere, someplace. Yeah, somewhere you guys don't want to know. Bjork Strand. Estate. Wrong guy for an estate. We want the bird. Shay. Ooh, Matthews. Dawson Mercer. Svozel. I wonder if Kevin Korchinski gets as mad as we do when he pulls his own rookie. 
But poor dude. I wonder if, like, his mom is, like, bedard hunting and she's like, damn it, I keep getting Kevin Korchinski. I keep getting my son. What the hell? Poor Kevin Korchinski, bro. Dude's not even that bad. Like I was saying, he gets... I low-key heard his name more than Bedard. People don't want to hear that. I low-key heard his name a couple more times than Bedard. But people don't... People aren't ready for that conversation of Kevin Korczynski actually being kind of nice with it. No one's ready for that. No. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like the outburst young gun. Regular one first. So it looks like we got Wild. For Florida, Sordif, and then Damien Giroux. Very nice on the outburst. Young Gun. We certainly take. Forsberg, Dazzler. Damien Giroux on the regular Young Gun. How about them apples, eh? Savashi. Schwartz. Pink Dazzler. Okay pretty good box Dawson Mercer pretty nice last young guns gonna be Clay Stevenson pretty solid box right there What if Korchinski himself is chasing Bedard is getting sick of pulling his own card? Honestly, if I was a card collector, like I'd be so hyped to get my own rookie. I don't know if the I don't know if it would ever wear off on me, to be honest. That would be pretty funny though. He low key has become that guy. There's always every year there's that guy. Um Oh my gosh, who was the, the Pat it was Pac-Man. Who was the dude on the Hornets the year that Lamelo was a rookie? Cause that I can't remember who it was, but like, that's where it got. Fun. That's where it like started. This is number four. This is Hunter F. Best of luck. I did. Yeah, they put up nine in the first inning. Huh? The Royals? Do you think they're good? That's okay. No one from either the AL or NL Central is going to... No team that comes out of either of those divisions is going to do anything in the playoffs. Hot take, possibly. Watch the Cubs do some crazy stuff. Bobby Witt is on fire. Dude, and J-Rod is not. J-Rod's playing terrible. J-Rod's playing worse than Brian De La Cruz right now, like, by a lot. It's, he's not looking good at all. I'm actually pretty nervous. Slowly but surely, every day it feels like he's selling my Bobby Witt rookie auto. Yeah, you definitely should not have done that. I got, like, one something for it. One something. That's the biggest issue. Oh, Dave. My, Kessel ring, not my bad. Early learning from Fair. Malkin. Another young gun down there. Basey base, 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 base. McGing. Soft right corner up there. Most cider. I don't know what's. The, I worried the same time last year. I got. I wonder if Kessel Ring is on me. Oh, hold on, let me screenshot it again. I'm pretty sure he isn't. Yeah, but like you can't be doing that every year. People are gonna like. I don't know. I get that it like it happens, but uh, I don't know, man. He's looked terrible. He's hitting like 127 last I checked or something crazy. 
And yeah, yeah, the same thing last year exactly happened. The exact same thing. Um. Just he ended up being like one of the best players in the league. I don't know, man. Darlene Dazzler, very nice. Carlson? Lenu, not bad. Russ? Brent Burns? I don't know, man. It'll definitely be interesting. I really hope he's not just a flash in the pan. I'll be really upset because I've also put some money into him and, like, I'm not going to lie. Since Trout, he's been the first, like, good player that I've, like, been like, okay, like, I really, really like watching. Like, like I'll watch a game. I'll watch a Mariners game just to make sure I can catch some J-Rod at bats. It's next level for me. Pink Dazzler. Little Stuart Scanner. Angle. Bad guy. Feature. Dawn. Cool. Base, base, base. Condada. Not a bad second box. Or fourth box. Second. I don't know, man. I shouldn't have to be praying for J Rod to like put one out. Like I don't, I don't think he's had a homer yet. <clears throat> now Trout, Trout is an anomaly this year. I don't know what the hell's going on with Mike Trout, but he's like consistent. He's doing really well. I'm really happy. Really happy that Mike Trout's doing well, but struggling with the fact that J Rod is not doing well at all but apparently Mount Castle's heating up apparently he's been pretty good numero cinco number five Erico Chad's been awesome he honestly as much as I really hate to say it he might need a trade dude he might need a change of scenery I think if you put Trout in a lineup that has, like, even a couple decent players around him, probably an MVP candidate this year, I mean. Like, he already kind of is. I would say, actually, most certainly, he's putting himself in the conversation already. They are so pure. He's got a great swing. I mean, he's literally everything. Dude, if he goes to the Dodgers, I'm, you know, stop watching baseball. I'm dead serious. They will never let that happen, knock on wood. They also, no, they don't have the payroll for that either. They do not have the payroll for that. He might end up a Yankee. He might up, but he's gonna, he's gonna retire a Philly though, mark my words. Matthews, Lowry. Canvas of Dougie Hamilton. Teach me how to. Lacombe. Everyone says Yanks. I would love nothing more than for him to be a Yankee as a Yankees fan and a huge Mike Trout. Mike Trout's definitely like my generation's Griffey. Like I got a Mike Trout jersey hanging up in my room. Oversized baseball card as well right above it in a frame. And like I've tr I, I have a Mike Trout auto. At one point I had two. I can't even remember what I sold that for. And like, what I bought with it. Stutzla. Strom. I love that card. You want or anything? I got some, sir. Thank you, though. Ludwig. Carlson. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! There we go. Finally. How about Mr. Connor Bedard? Young Gun. That's Young Gun number one out of the case. There we go. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, yes. Congratulations, my friend. Bedtime. That is indeed bedtime. But hard time. Very beautiful card. Going to a beautiful home. This is box number five. Four. There we go. I said I said it earlier. Diver my oh I forgot divers muted. Gotcha, gotcha. Nope. All right. First Bedar of the case. Orange highlighter. Whoa, you, Slav. Nice little Slav. Very nice. Morella. Silvs, McAvoy. Ooh, another black and white canvas. This one of Tomas Hurdle. I remember exactly what you're talking about, Jacob, but I won't lie, I did not, because I did not take a picture, because I was very busy. Send them to me now. And I will take a picture of it, and then I'll check it out. Please send them again, though, because I'm always looking for prospects to look at. I'll drive myself down the 5, up the 405, and down the 57 to personally tell Trout that Stroh would like you to go to Dodgers for pennies. Do not do that. Aiden Miller and Walker Martin. Okay. Aiden Miller sounds familiar. From, I'm surprised I didn't say it sounded familiar when you first said it to me, because that sounds really... Walker Martin. What team is he on? Hold up. Maybe I'm thinking of Austin Martin. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Six. Six. Erico, oh, best of luck. Got the Bedard already. Let's see if we can add to it, my friend. Sounds like a shark. Walker Martin, yeah, you're pretty. Walker Martin kind of sounds. That's a baseball name. Aiden Miller, definitely. I, that sounds like a Canuck. I wouldn't be shocked if they had a guy on the Vancouver roster right now named Aiden Miller. Gi are they both on the Giants? They do have him, indeed. Probably going to pull his card. I hate this guy, but not bad, Dazzler. Morella. Matty Beniers. Ooh, Stammer. Pink Deep Roots. McDavid, Sweezy. Bad guy. I hate sleeving this dude's cards, but I, you know, it's only fair. Only fair. 
He abandoned us. Kind of. He's just a jerk. He's just a jerk about the city. He said some mean things about Buffalo. Aiden's fills. Okay, okay. The only thing with the fills is that their team is pretty set. Uh, mm, Loki, no, it's not. There's some outfield positions. Canvas Young Gun here and regular Young Gun. No way. How about two times for you? How about two times and a Poitras? How about another Bedard? Oh, 27. Okay. Another Bedard. Eric O eating back to back boxes. Luck of the draw, huh? And then a Poitras right there on the canvas. So a very solid canvas as well. Is Carlson? If Carlson's not a canvas in this, that might be the best canvas you can get. All right. Well, great success. And a little Tage on the black and white canvas. And a Matthew Nyes. Wow. Fantastic box. Luke Phillip. That's the first time I think I've gotten two Blackhawks young guns in the same box, and one of them was Bedard. Reichel. That's incredible. We're moving up in the world. I didn't get Luke Phillips. I just got Luke Phillips' uh, young gun as well. Very nice. Very nifty. I like. Oh, very nice. I like. Gunat, not bad. Darnell Nurse on the... I want to say sunburst, but it's an outburst. Eyes again. Lowry, Lindholm, What do you guys think about Jackson Holiday's debut? Got to watch the first at bat. It wasn't too bad. He looks He looks timid as anyone would be in that situation at that age especially. This is number seven. Actually that reminds me I'll get some water. Seven's going to Hunter F. Hunter F, you got quite a few in this one, my friend. Ooh, Christopher Morrell. He's electric. I love Christopher Morrell. He's, Jacob, he's getting up there on list of random dudes that I'm like, I'm kind of starting to vibe with Christopher Morrell. I love how he plays the game. And like, you could just tell baseball is his life. Like, that, I love... When he hit that walk-off, he's throwing well. He got a little cannon. I actually... I think I saw he had an outfield assist the other night. I don't know. He just gives off the vibe of, like, that he loves this and is willing to play until his arms fall off. That's the type of player I love. Like, they just can't get away from the game. It seems like Christopher Morrell is so passionate about it. Nate Mack, this dude... I hadn't watched a game that he was... Like, I've watched, like... Evs are a pretty cool team, so like I'll watch whatever game's on. I finally got around to watching an Evs game and like watching it. This is probably the best hockey player on earth. He it's effortless. I've seen McDavid play. I've watched him live. If you showed me Nate Mack, it didn't help that he also had a hat trick. That that helps convince me. But like Poitras. I feel like Poitras. I'll check in a second. But like if you were to show me that I'd be like, he's got to be the best ever. Or not the best ever. Got to be the best, like, in the league right now. Got an exclusive here. 
please don't. Oh, it's a king. To 100, Drew Doherty, not bad. McDavid, that's a very, that's a perfect way to put it, JP. Hey, checklist. Put us on the board. That's three boxes in a row with Bedard, uh, Bedard Young Gun, technically. Checklist or not, doesn't matter to me. It matters that we get them. Get them. Well, the thing with McKinnon is he's just a runaway truck, dude. As soon as he gets the puck, it's over. Like, McDavid, yes, but, like, it literally just looks like everyone else is skating and McKinnon's just running. It just looks like he's running. But, like, as fast as you would be skating at, like, near full speed. I have a feeling Poitras is on it. Yeah, he is. I don't know, man. He's... I think we're very blessed. I'm very blessed to be... 101 Paul Coffee. Ooh. That's nasty, though. But, like, I'm blessed to have become a hockey fan in this age because, like, there are multiple players who will go down as probably. I think we've got a couple probably top... We've got a couple top teners, honestly, in the league currently. Ooh, 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 canvas and a young gun right here. Hunter Shepard on a regular young gun. Who's on our canvas? Billy Sweezy, not too shabby. We take. Canvas young gun, we take. Clear. We got acetate young gun. Uh-oh. Clay. Not bad. Clay Stevenson. How about that? That was a really good... Those were like almost the same pack. You just got Luke Phillips. Trading at your local shop? Eh, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Camel car is also insane. Spurgeon. This has been a fantastic year for hockey fans if you're not a Sabres fan. And this is my second year of being fully like ingrained with the sabers and i'm already i'm already like i've experienced only two years of heartbreak like of true heartbreak this just sucks dude like i don't know how y'all have done that like sabers fans i'm sorry i i i oftentimes think i wish i would have been a sabers fan since i like have been a bills fan and been as passionate about that and like at the end of the season i was like i'm glad i haven't I was like, I'm glad that I decided to start liking them now where they're supposed to be decent. But they're not. They're still buns. They're not good. I don't know what it is. If you fire the coach, it's, I mean, we. I feel like they tried that. Panthers are so good. Voronkov, not bad. Ooh, Palat. Huh, Dave? It, mm. it might for us. Honestly, I've seen enough. I've seen enough of Donnie G. Yeah. No, I disagree, actually. I think he could have done some of those lineups. Oh, I'm staying loyal. I'm definitely staying loyal. I just mean, like, I'm glad I didn't. I guess I'm glad. Belensky sounds familiar. No, where is it? Vorenkov. It's Vorenkov. So that's a really great box. There you go. Missed it if you said it earlier. Q, um, I don't know about for the night, but at, at the very least, I love that. I hate the Leafs. I really hate the Leafs. Uh, that's one thing about my Sabres fandom that's hilarious to me is I really, out of nowhere... I really despise the Leafs. I really hate them. Poppy is showing up, but blah. All right, number eight. Let me, I got to answer that question. Number eight, Jason K. Here we go, Jason K. You were in here earlier. Um, So I wouldn't say we're completely closed, but I would chill around. Do not put in an order unless I'm like, hey, yeah, we're good for tonight. Like, I would be very tentative. Tonight might not be the night. Might just need to wait till Saturday. Just because divers got a lot. 
but we're hopeful. But yeah, just this part of the year. Like, some nights I don't mind staying. I did stay... <laughs> Honestly, ever since I've stayed till 3 a.m. Or 2 a.m. was has been like... That's when I've been like, alright. That was the last week I was able to do that. And that's why I was able... That's why I was so willing. Because I was like, now school's getting real. And I was glad I did it that time. Because literally the week after is when school started getting very real very quick. Divers got a case of Jumbo Hobby hunting some, uh, what are they called? Some of those debut patches. <laughs> McTivish. Delgaizo. And then I think Bowman's Best was the other case. Ah, uh, yes, something else. Ooh, oh, I thought that was ass tape, damn it. I think it's oh 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 whoa 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 I've not oh. seen this pop out yet that's I like it. have not seen that pop out yet that's a numbered bedard right there wow Wowza. first light pop count pop count one thousand wow Settle down. Let me get through the rest of the pack first. Lefry air, very nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. How much is that going for, dude? Ha ha ha. Do you have? Can you check on a comp? For me, or or chat or chat. Woo! That's a beaut. A little numbered Bedard action going on there. Big boy. How much is it going for raw? I'm always po posing these cards up. Not many. He's checking sold. Apparently, there's some up for like 500 ungraded. That doesn't seem. That's a nasty card, though, dude. I would grade this 100%. That is so nice. I see the thing with this is now I gotta turn the light back on, but there's so much glare. Yeah. One sold for 447 raw. Raw Canadian 447. 355. 450. 367. 360. Keep in mind these are all raw. It's all over the place. I would definitely grade it, though. 100%. That might be a keeper. I would low-key trade. I would trade for that. I would trade you probably my Allen Auto. And something else. Solovyov. Tom Wilson. Mm -hmm. Damn. A PSA 9 of the population count 500 is up for like, how much? 1,500? Jeez. Um, colonization, hold on to that invoice. I can't add anybody to queue just yet. I got to make sure that I can, you know, I have a long night. Poitras. And an Owen Beck program of excellence. Definitely do. Definitely do. No, you're good, Colin. My bad. Um, but yeah. It, sh it is closed, but hold on to that. Maybe. Gotta stop maybe just maybe we'll be able to get you in at the end of the night hold out hope but no promises at that point if we do have time at the end of the night it'll be very first come first serve
That's a gorgeous Bedard. I really want to get into hockey cards, man. I, I just, my assets are spread too far into baseball. And, like, even football a little bit now. Acetate of Marcus Foligno, not bad. Levi, he's been up and down. I feel bad for the kid. I think they brought him up a little too quick. And he killed it. But, like, now he's not. Nasco. Chuck. Belenskis. Cop. That's the box. Great, great, great. I really don't know, JP. That's a really good question. I would have thought it was going to be worth significantly more, to be honest, because it's numbered. And I have opened a lot of this product, and that's the first time. No problem, dude. Hope you enjoyed that hit. I mean, I'm sure you did. I think that'll be a card in the future that'll be iconic. I mean, that's such a nice-looking card, and, like, Pop Count is a pretty sweet set. And it's a rookie. And it's, it's, like, serial numbered. This is technically serial numbered. It's number nine, Angelo P. Best of luck. I think that comps will catch up over time. I think the Young Gun will probably shoot down, obviously. Or it could go up. Um, I think it'll correct itself, but I think that that will go up. Like, I don't know. Just something about, it's a beautiful card. Just something about that card, like, screams to me in the future, like, this will be a big one. I don't know, maybe think of it as, like, oftentimes with hockey stuff, I'll think of it as, like, Skybox. Oh, dude, there's, I, I myself have pulled probably 25 Bedard Young Guns. There's probably hundreds of thousands. Once, I like to think of it like this, right? As like, what product? Minton. Oh my gosh, Leaf Metal, right? Remember the old, that old, what, what the, um... Jeez, sorry, trying to rip, trying to rip and talk. To form a train of thought and also, Nick Sweeney, also do this. Nice schmaltzy. It is difficult. One sec. Oh, we got a red. We got a red outburst. What? We do. My second red outburst. Who do we have, though? Um, so it's like everyone at first was like, oh, just the rookies, blah, blah, blah. Like PMGs, these are cool. They're numbered, but, like, they're cool. They're whatever. But, like, I want all these rookies. And, like, the rookies were more valuable. And then over time, people were like, oh, damn, these PMG things, they're really rare. And even and, – and they look cooler. I'm – for reference sake. Okay, so those are not – where is the red? It's got to be under Yamamoto, right? I think it is. But yeah, food for thought. Numbered stuff at the end of the day, at the very least, there's only a certain amount of it produced. Alright, let's see who's on our let's see if it's a young gun. It is not. To 25 though. Rasmus Anderson, 15 of 25. Rasmus Anderson, I'm getting so close. I know that I'm going to pull either a Bedard Red or the Gold. Yep, not a young gun. Rasmus Anderson, not bad to 25. Pretty sweet color match, though. Oh, Ludwig. Hey, those are so rare that no matter who it is, you, you, you take it. That's the second one I've pulled. In all of my packs and boxes... And the couple blasters I've done, still haven't done a 10. But I've opened, I don't even want to know how many cases of this I've opened. Probably a sickening amount. Can't get sick of this product, though. The chase is just, it's so fun. Like, just being on a constant lookout for one card, and then, like, but being surprised by other good ones, too. Sam Oskevich.
I could tell about time I got him. That dude at first was like the only young gun I was pulling. Like release week, only dude I was pulling was uh freaking Hardy Hammon Octel, dude. Only guy I could pull. And then I started to pull more Bedard, and then I had the craziest box of my life. The craziest box I've ever opened. I would chalk up to being Series 2 uh, hockey. Still has not... My mind has not been changed yet. Um, Because there was an Acetate Bedard and an uh, Outburst Bedard in the same box. And they were two packs away. It was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Zari, not bad. Very nice. Hopefully, like, uh, hopefully, you like Calgary. Sean Farrell. Oscarov. So, pretty solid box right there. Like I said, hope you enjoy, uh, hope you enjoy yourself some flames. Flames fan dream box right there. Lazari and a little bit 25. Color match is actually pretty nasty. I kind of want to get another look at that. Little Rasmus Anderson. That's a beaut. That's a beaut. All right, into the last, uh, in the last little bit. Numero Diaz. Number 10. Hunter F. Best of luck. I gotta start going on campus to eat more, man. I've literally had Pop-Tarts today, and that's it. I get a lot better with my eating. You know, freshman year, it was, I eat too much. And now, sophomore year, I don't eat enough. Maybe junior year, I figure it out. And I'm like, this is how you properly, this is how you do it, what your diet should look like. Outburst. I've seen a lot of outbursts. That's good. Favorite flavor of Pop-Tart? It's kind of a deadlock tie. Depends on the day. Depends on how I'm feeling. And this is like one of the only things where I kind of mean that. Philly Sweezy. So it's, it's a direct tie between regular old cinnamon. Cinnamon. It's, it's goaded. It's my grandpa's favorite apparently. Unreal. And then the other one by far, cookies and cream. It's just not even close in my opinion. I feel like it's those two and then the rest. Give me, the, I don't care. Like, yeah, some are better than others. Those two are levels, levels above others. Sorry. Just for Brett. I honestly can't think of any others that, like, come close. That's, that's a fair one. I don't know how long it's been since I've had blueberry, though. On board with cinnamon. Okay, okay, that's good. It's it's classic. I always got some cinnamon pop tarts in my crib, and if I don't, it's probably because I'm way too lazy to go to the store. And that probably means I don't have bread or any sandwich fixings or milk or anything. If there's no pop tarts in my house, there's probably nothing else in there. Not on board, bro. It, you need to have your eyes opened. You need to have a cookies and cream pop tart, but you need to toast it. Have a good one, JP. Cherry, oh, come on. Don't come in here with that cherry is top two nonsense. Matt Murray. Daniel Gucci, not bad. The real question, low key. Do, oh, Brian Campbell on the black and white program of excellence. The real question is, though, do you toast them or not? What is your de facto? My de facto now, I toast them. What about Dave? What are you? Are you a toast? Are you toasting your Pop-Tarts or are you just eating it raw or does it depend? 
It's fun. It low key depends for me, but my de facto is definitely to toast that thing. S'mores. S'mores is up there, nasty sausage. S'mores is up there. Bro, you gotta try. I want everyone to get the cookies and cream one and toast it. And just thank me later. It is pretty life changing. Toasted, the toasted cookies and cream Pop Tart. It does indeed move mountains. It does indeed, it feeds families. Bro, nothing wrong with toasty corners. I get where you're coming from, though. Cherry Pop Tart Donut. That's pretty great. <clears throat> that sounds pretty great, Beaver. You should ship one to me. You should ship one to me. Well, that's a donut. That's a donut themed after it. I mean, come on. What are we doing here? You're going to bring that to the argument. Unbelievable, Beaver. I thought we were... Oh, Bedard Dazzler. Very nice. Very good. Let's see more Bedard, please. Sam Scavich. That was a good... That was a good interrupter. That was very good. Full canvas here. Oh, my God. Tossing a stick. Very nice, Eggplant. Kairu had a couple the other night. I think I already said that today. Sidney Crosby. Bro, actually, if you do, let me know. Angle. Box. If you do, let me know, because I'm a sucker for donuts, low-key. Ask Ant. Yes. Bro knows about Paula's. They have really good breakfast sandwiches. Was not aware their breakfast sandwiches were that good. Nice Bedard. We've actually been doing pretty good with Bedards in this case. We got a numbered Bedard, technically. I like cherry, but, like, I... It's pretty much what I had when I used to... The thing with Pop-Tarts is that I used to only have them at my family's cottage in Cape Cod. Same with Dunkin' Donuts. Because, like, we didn't have any Dunkin' Donuts. In, like, New York, almost. Like, there was no Dunkin' Donuts. This is the penultimate right here. We're almost done. This is number 11. This is going to Jill P. Best of luck, Jill. Is this the Jill P? <gasps> we gotta get a one-on-one -on -one Bedard here, then. Gotta, gotta, gotta. Best of luck. They are. Chair wash. Chair wash. Wow. I've heard cheer wine. I think my mom... Ironically, I think my mom likes cheer wine. I'm not sure. I've, I've heard the word thrown around. I don't even know quite what it is. Second to last dive. This is a penultimate. My voice is getting scratched up. Hmm. Hopefully there's not nothing. Hopefully there's nothing to worry about. My voice. I'm not. I don't. I. I would know. When I get sick, I'm like sick. I have a good immune system because as a kid, nice Walker Dewar. Ah, uh, the previous one was the antepenultimate. Yes, correct. Bingo. But yeah, dude. When I was a kid, I used to just, like, shrug it off. Shrug it off, thug it out. Swainy. You got a question for me, Beaver. So here's a question. Okay, okay, okay. I'm all ears. And nose as well. I've also got some eyes. I do have legs and feet. <laughs> that was actually low-key a really good dad joke. I might just came up with that one on the spot. Dave, you ever heard that one? Have you ever heard it before, though? Uh, I'm all ears. I also have a couple eyes. And I also have some arms and legs, too. Pretty good. Th thank you for your service. Today, oh, man. no. <laughs> so you haven't ever heard that one out? No. Okay, good, good, good. That's a good one, then. I'm going to have to keep... That's a zinger right there. Oh, Swayman and uh, Jari. Nice. 
If you could get an auto from three people, living or dead, who you got? Ooh, Bedard Portrait is what I got. Um, does this entail that I get to meet them? Matt and Paolo, Sam Sonov, not bad. How are we doing, Vanilla Turd? Kachuk, this dude's mean. Uh, the more I watch hockey, the more I realize he's so mean. Leo Carlson. As corny as it sounds, um, probably Jeter. That dude's like my idol, but not in like a weird way. In a way of like, two's my favorite number. He was by far my favorite athlete, but like I look up to him. What's up, Mango? I look up to him and like a like role model type of figure. So Jeter's probably number one. Um, oh man. Any person? Maybe Abner Doubleday. There's a curveball for you. The guy who invented baseball. Would love to have a chat with him. Um. So I've got a really old dead dude. A, a very not dead icon of baseball. A couple baseball players. Um. What? I like to meet the guy who made that sketch, and I I hope you know what I'm. Do you know what I'm referencing? If o I I love how I was like, if only this could be worse, then it'd be so much funnier. And it was worse, and it was funnier. Do you know I have a small PC of those, Claude Giroux? Do you really? I do. I have like. I want to say five or six. I'll, t I'll If I remember, I'll send a video when I get home. They're tucked away in a drawer, but they used to be on display in my apartment. They were a talking piece, man. People would come and be like, what the hell are those? And I'd be like, sit down. Bobby McMahon. <laughs> Do you get it? Murray. Oh, Lafreniere on the acetate. Not bad. Pretty great box. Always a good box when you get a little canvas young gun. Especially for Dallas. Whew. Jeter, Abner. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. What? I, I'm, I'm a very much like, I like learning from people. So I'd need like a leader of men type of dude. But like, I can't, I can't really... Doesn't have to be sports. I mean, maybe like Grover Cleveland, but I feel like Buffalo kind of does tricks on it. They, they're like, oh, this president's from Buffalo. Like, every other street is like Grover Cleveland way, and there's like Grover Cleveland go presidential golf course right by South Campus for UB. It's like, whatever. Grover freaking Cleveland, dude. Um, I don't know. That's a really... You're going to have to give me a minute. You're going to have to let me marinate on that. I could give you a sappy answer, like a deceased relative, but I'm not doing that. That's lame. What's up, fatty? Last box. Number 12, Hunter F. Best of luck. Now you got me thinking. doesn't have to be sports, but my brain... You got to remember, though. My brain revolves around sports. I don't know. I, I probably wouldn't... I don't know. I'd probably be in an insane asylum if there wasn't sports, if I'm being fully honest. I know it's simple, but, like, there's too many. I feel like one and two are pretty easy, like Jeter, by far. Like, I wouldn't even, I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't even get starstruck by Jeter. I'd just be like, what's up? But it would just be so cool to interact with him. Um, no, I, I, eh, I might freeze up. Nah, if I saw Jeter, I don't know. I'd probably just, I think the first thing I'd say is thank you. I don't know. That dude motivated me. He's motivated me before. I'd be like, well, Derek Jeter's pretty great, so why can't you be? Um, maybe Pat Tillman. Pat Tillman's definitely up there. I don't know. I'm not giving that as a definitive answer, though. I thought I said deluxe defense. See, I'm always on my toes with these. Pythia. Brian Campbell. Not on the black and white this time. 
Hmm. Hmm. Lawrence of Arabia, maybe. Crazy one. I'm, I'm getting made fun of for it, but Lawrence of Arabia is pretty interesting, dude. That's Dave. Machuka, if I know for a fact, copy. David, who do you have? If you had to choose three people to meet, alive or dead, doesn't have to be sports, who are you going with? All right. All right. He's got OJ Simpson. OJ Simpson, the real, the real killer. You already, oh, you did meet OJ. I appreciate that, Ellie. Three autos and you get to meet them. I mean, you could I could say a really out of pocket one and I would mean it, but I'm not saying that on stream, but I would love to pick that person's brain. Not for reasons you would think. McDavid. Oh, 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 we got a numbered young gun. We got a numbered young gun in the last box. Oh, yeah. Okay, Jesus Christ is an easy number three for me then. Winston uh, Churchill. That was the other dude I was thinking of. World War II absolutely has me in a stranglehold. That is my Roman Empire. World War II is my... And the Ottoman Empire is my Roman Empire. I think about the Ottomans a lot more. I'm more intelligent than you sheep. You ever just think about the Roman <laughs> What team? What team? That doesn't look like this. Oh, is that Cartier? No. Vorenkov to 250, though. That's really nice. I... We're kind of on a heater, man. That's a damn good question. Living or dead? Um... I'd go Jesus Christ, because he's a historical figure. But that's a beaut right there. He's on the list, too. Who? Vorinkov, top load his base. Oh, yes. yes. Vorinkov's a stud. Oh, my God. This is a tough question. I would probably say one guy I'd want to meet for sure. Lafriere, what a little stack right there. My word. Um, ooh. Vander Kane. J-Rob. I would probably want to meet Jason Kipnis. Jason Kipnis. What about Grady home. Sizemore? And, Gra and Grady Sizemore, too. That's like, it's a tie. Right Octel, now. McTavish. Uh, Is it McTavish or McTivish? I've heard both. I say McTivish because I heard someone say McTivish on a broadcast or something, but I'm going to go McTavish because that sounds better. I would also like to meet Shohei Otani's bookie. I would not. Actually, yes, I would because apparently I could just get away with whatever, whatever the hell I want and accumulate 40 million deaths. Yeah. Your Otani's really cool, but I got an on-card Jesus Christ autograph. They're like, how the hell did you get it on cards? Like, don't ask me any questions, bro. But yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about musicians. Um, I don't know. Who would I want to meet? Music wise, a shroud of turn. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> Relic of. We got a Christ one of one. For the Holy Rollers. There it is. Jesus Christ on the young gun. Ty Amberson, not bad. Tupac's a good one. My thing is, like, I don't want to meet... Ooh, Bassy. Maybe Tim Horton. Tim Horton. Oh, outburst young gun in the last little bit. This could be big. Jim Morrison. Oh, Woodster. Jim Morrison. Oh, I'd love to pick Jim Morrison's brain about music, dude. The Doors. Ugh. That's my, that might be my favorite one. Favorite one. All right. Two young guns here. First one up. Nazco. Um, uh, the outburst. Damien Hunt. Okay. Not bad. You know who else I'd like to meet? Oh. Just to get tips on how to throw, oh, wait. like, chairs and stuff, is Morgan Wallen. <sighs> Jerry Garcia. Oh, Chris Farley. Easy. Chris Farley. I forgot about him. 
Chris Farley is up there for me. 100 million thousand percent. That's going to do it for the break, guys. Got a little off, off the rails at the end, but, you know, they usually do. Bless you. Was that an exorcism? Fair enough. Fatty says, what's up, Yaga? Fatty Yaga says, what up, Fatty? Oh, that is true. That is very true, Diver, towards the end. My dad used to, when I'd have sleepovers with my friends, we, I was not normal. I would just pop into the DVD player, a little SNL greatest, uh, greatest skits, greatest, hit. I can't remember what it, was, what it was called, but it was basically like that actor's best performances, and it was the absolute best, and now I really want to go and watch those in my basement now. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers.